Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot lid. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Okay guys, and today I had a little bit of a learning moment opportunity, and I just kind of wanted to show you what, what happens exactly uh, when you don't use your Honda power steering fluid, or if you mix it with other power steering fluid, what can happen. So, let's take a look. Okay guys, so here I've ran into a situation where I replaced the power steering pump and the customer, it was previously leaking and the customer had been using a uh, regular power steering fluid to, to fill it. So now when I got everything put back together, I filled it with the genuine Honda power steering fluid. Well, not the genuine one, but the, the specifically made for Honda power steering fluid. And of course we had the, the regular power steering fluid left in the system there. So now, um, if you can see right now, it looks kind of clear and brown and that's uh, somewhat usual and basically what I'm going to show you here is we're going to turn on the car. We're going to see how this fluid turns to a foamy mess. And that's basically the, the byproduct of mixing the regular power steering fluid with the Honda power steering fluid. And we're, we're also going to hear a little bit of a noise coming from the power steering pump. And that's going to be because you can't uh, have foam as a lubricant. And it, it doesn't really uh, damage you uh, doing it in this short period of time. But um, basically, if, if you're running into this problem where you just replace it, you may have a noise like that. Um, that's going to be your reason why uh, is if if you're having that mixture problem that's a uh, cause. So here we go. We'll we'll go and take a look and see what happens when we start it up. And I'll show you if I can if you can see down in the hole what the the foamy mixture looks like when you mix the two fluids. Okay, guys. So I'm going to do my best here to give you a shot so you can keep your eye on the fluid there and kind of see what it looks like. Hopefully now you can see it's kind of like a a brown regular looking power steering fluid. Now I'm going to go start the car. You'll get to hear what it sounds like, and then you'll see how it kind of mixes up there and it gets all foamy. Alright guys, now hopefully, I know it's it's going to be a little difficult for you to see there, but the fluid is now foamy. I'm going to try and get a little better shot as best I can. And right there. So hopefully you can see it's kind of foamy now before it was a, a clear brown standard looking power steering fluid. And so basically that's what can happen when you mix the two fluids. So. Maybe if you just replace your power steering pump, you're having a problem like this, uh, maybe this will help you out. So that pretty much concludes today's video of what can happen when you use the, the wrong kind of power steering fluid. Also, um, I didn't, I don't think I mentioned this. If you do use the regular power steering fluid, you don't mix them, but if you just do use that regular power steering fluid, it, it will greatly, greatly reduce the life of your power steering pump. Um, and what I mean by greatly is it'll destroy your power steering pump uh, in just a matter of probably five to, to twenty thousand miles so it's it's really important to to use the Honda specific power steering fluid uh, it, it'll cause damage to the system there's a there's a reason they do it they don't they don't just do it for kicks and giggles so um, that's it for today's video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time hey guys I was here editing my stuff here and I realized I didn't tell you how to fix it if you had that mixed fluid basically if you want to fix your problem there what you're going to do is just completely drain your your power steering fluid system and how you can go about doing that is very carefully disconnect your hoses and then run your car while your hose is off and watch it and have somebody else turn the car on until all the fluid is kind of pumped out of there because your pump will pump it out there real quick and then once your fluid is pumped all the way out then you go ahead and hook your hoses back up and put your brand new fluid in so that's how you go about fixing that situation. So that concludes today's project and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time and I will see you then.